Good day, viewers. Thanks for joining me here for another historical video transmission. Originally, I had planned to show you a bunch of bottles that a buddy of mine gave me, and he works on a scallop dragger, and he gave me a bucket of, I don't know, 12 or 15 bottles, but I had a look at them, and there's only maybe these three here that were really worth uh, putting in the video, so we'll look at those. And then also I got a jar here of uh, bits and pieces that I found over the past few years of uh, bottle digging. And I just keep them in this jar and uh, we'll have a look at those. So, if you haven't got your drink poured, get that poured. I got mine poured. <laughs> and uh, we're going to be needing that. And there's the bell. Let's get started. Here we go, folks. So first up, fresh off the old scallop dragger, we'll show this little bottle here. It's like a sample size liquor bottle. And as you can see, it is beat up quite a bit there. And they all seem to get that on them since they've been rolling around and beating around on the bottom of the ocean. They get dinged up all just like a sea glass would do. So it really... Uh, depletes the value of the bottle and then we got this one here which is the best of the bunch it's in uh, really good condition a little chip right there out of it but I'm guessing this is a, a blackening pot a piece of pottery there's actually if you can hear that in there shaking around that is a clam shell down inside there so it's, it's like the clam got inside there and then grew too big to come out so that's kind of neat nice find and then finally for the old scallop dragger bottles is this one here which is a crown top and it is a hand blown bottle hand blown crown top and it is a local bottle as well soda bottle St. Stephen New Brunswick the international drug company which happens to be a soda bottle company so that's a nice bottle other than all the wear on it where it has been uh, beaten around on the uh, bottom of the ocean and there's part of a barnacle stuck to it there and another one there some more going on up here and the lip is chipped as well would have been a beautiful bottle if it hadn't have been beaten around on the bottom of the ocean for hundred plus years <laughs> okay let's have a drink Okay, so I think what I might do is I'll move these up this way. And then I'll just dump this out on the table here. Try to keep it all contained. And we'll separate it and uh, go through it. Let me zoom in there. Maybe I'll stay zoomed in like that. I'll back up a little bit. All right, so first off, there's a silver ring with a, appears to be a sapphire in it. I found that one, I think, two years ago. I dug that one up. And these are all from uh, bottle digging, folks, not uh, metal detecting. Here's one here, a badge off a sewing machine is what this one is. Nice brass badge. Wheeler and Wilson Manufacturing Company. Pretty cool. Right here, two silver shakers, folks. That's pretty neat. Miniature. Maybe they're like travel style. Kind of cool that uh, got both of them. Um, well, we got a bunch of uh, clay marbles. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, looks like six clay marbles, all different sizes. Set those up there. Yep. Well, I should show you my jar here too. It's a French's mustard, prepared mustard. So you always want to check your uh, jars when you're digging, folks, because some of them are embossed, like this one here is. What else we got here? Okay, this is a shell button, and there's probably several of those there. That's another one. There's another one. Cat's over there meowing in the corner. There's another one, and another one, and another one. Oh, there we go. And uh, a couple more. Lots of shell buttons around this area here, folks. There's a handful of shell buttons dug over the past few years. The big one's pretty neat. And uh, how about this one here? Overseas Battalion. Can't remember the details on this, but uh, this is New Brunswick up here. 55th Overseas Battalion. I believe that was World War One. that one was from. Oh, there's another uh, shell button. And here are some other buttons. These are uh, bone buttons. One, two, three. I thought I had more of them, but uh, three bone buttons. And how about this here gold ring? That's a nice gold ring. Which way does it go? This way here, I think. All from bottle digging, folks. All from bottle digging. I got an Indian head penny. And if I can see the date, I'll let you know what that is, but uh, I can't see it from here, Keep it side down. 1887, it looks like. 1887. Alright, there's that, and uh, a buffalo nickel as well. Pretty cool. We've got some other buttons here. Those are identical. That's a different one. There's a couple more. I believe these were from uh, World War I as well. We've got quite a few artifacts going on here at the moment. There's a Merchant Marine button. Dug that one last year, I believe, last summer. There's another button here. Can't remember the story on that one, but uh, it's a nice piece. Okay, so I had to transfer my footage over onto my uh, desktop, and I took the opportunity to pour another drink, so let's have a smash of that, and get into the rest of these finds that were in the mustard jar. Let's go with this one here, only because I just looked at it before turning the camera back on. It's got the German cross on it, and I'm not sure if it was a button or what exactly uh, it is but there is a patent date on it of uh, 1875 I don't think you're going to be able to see it you might but it's right up at the top of that cross there 
1875, and it says Pat D down here. Interesting piece. I found that on a rock property line with some uh, stuff that was right around the turn of the century. Found that last year. Those little clay marbles want to go all over the place. Here's a great seal button, and I believe this one was from two or three years ago. Nice button. Here's a button I found last fall, I believe. Nice button. And a pin. I believe I found this pin the very first year that I was digging. Check it out. Looks like some sort of mason's pin or something. However, i got to wrote down here what it is. It's the Grand International Auxiliary Brotherhood of Locomotive Engineers. Check it out. Pretty cool. Not sure what the date is on it, but it's all intact there. Neat find. Oh, ding ding! Drink time! <laughs> ah. Okay, we got a few more finds here to go. Here is a uh, clip to something. It says Vestoff on it. You can get focused on it here. There we go. I found that, dug that one up in the same location as I dug up that great seal button. Two pretty good finds in one site. This one here, this was uh, early last year maybe. I dug this one up in like a 40s site. It's actually a medallion from uh, the first Queen's visit to Canada, 1939. Neat piece. This one here was late last year. I dug that up. That's a medallion off a handsaw. That was a nice sight to dig. Got a bunch of... uh I get out of there? A bunch of Horlux bottles, I believe it was, at that site. Here's a badge. T. McCavity and Sons Limited. 307. This is a uh, worker's badge. <coughs> Ooh. St. John, New Brunswick. <laughs> Excuse me. Worker number 307. Cool badge. And finally, we got one more, which came out of the same site as that badge there, is this guide pin. 1959. Guide license. That would be like a hunting guide. How cool is that? Alright, folks. So that's going to be uh, it for this one. Next video should be a digging video, so tune in for that, and uh, hope you all have a great day. One more drink to cheers, folks. We'll finish off the video with that. Ooh. Over and out, folks.